Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. Before we get on to the next 10 days, the last few days has seen a significant trend. A trend away from widespread sunshine and temperatures of 20 Celsius to this. Arctic air coming south across the UK behind a cold front which has brought in some places snowfall and as it crosses the south of the UK for the start of Thursday, well, could even bring some slight snow coverings to southeastern areas, mainly over hills, Chilterns, the Downs, and mainly grassy surfaces, not lasting long either. The sun will soon clear it up, but there'll be further wintry showers coming into the east and the north through Thursday on a biting northeasterly wind, which will be particularly strong around the coast of Kent there, potential for gales and exposed spots, and temperatures compared to, well, this time last week, 10 degrees lower. However, there will be some sunny spells. It's a bright day if on the cold side with temperatures well below average for the time of year. With the skies clearing quite widely on Thursday evening, a heads up that it's a good evening to see the aurora, particularly if you're in the northern half of the UK. A good chance of seeing a strong aurora there. Probability shown by the key and uh, peaking around 10 p.m. on Thursday evening. Now, into the start of Friday, a widespread frost with temperatures in towns and cities down at minus one, minus two Celsius in the countryside, down below minus five Celsius in some sheltered spots. This is the first day of April. It's not winter anymore, but it's a bright start. There'll be plenty of sunshine and it will be less windy compared to Thursday, so perhaps not feeling quite as bitingly cold. Further showers though, a mix of rain and sleet, perhaps some snow over the hills in the east, mainly rain showers coming into western Scotland and Northern Ireland and still for most temperatures several degrees below average for the time of year. Now this feature that's bringing the rain showers into western Scotland and Northern Ireland topples south on Friday night to bring mainly rain showers to the southern half of the country. And then really Saturday is a cloudy day for many Further showers, especially in the south and the east, perhaps a few flakes of snow, particularly over hills, but mostly these are rain showers, and it'll be brightest and driest towards the northwest, but for all, it's going to stay on the cold side, with temperatures only very slightly higher compared to Friday. And those temperatures falling again under clearing skies on Saturday night, leading to a widespread frost on Sunday morning. Temperatures particularly low in the south and the uh, east. Now, in the far north, those temperatures will hold up because here some rain will start to move south associated with a cold front. But to the south of that, actually plenty of sunshine despite the chill, cloud bubbling up a little into the afternoon, perhaps the odd shower, but it's looking like a dry and bright day for many in the southern half of the UK. And uh, despite low temperatures for the time of year, it will feel pleasant enough, I think, where we get some of that brightness. Nevertheless, rain in the north coming south across Scotland and Northern Ireland. This cold front is sinking its way southwards and it also brings a return to colder air once again and perhaps some wintry showers as it clears in the northeast. The cold air there indicated by the blues coming south, perhaps not quite as cold as the air that we're seeing on Wednesday and Thursday, but nevertheless still well below average. But there is some uncertainty at this stage as we start next week on the position of this cold front, how far south it moves, its timings, and how much this cold air pushes south and how long it lasts. Those uncertainties are tangled up in the position and the extent of this area of high pressure and essentially how amplified it is, how much it extends to the north and allows cold air to push southwards across the UK. But there is a trend through the start of next week for that high to become flatter and to push further south. And you can see the most likely weather pattern for the middle of next week sends that high further south. Its influence wanes and that allows the jet stream to also become flatter and to start to bring more unsettled, more changeable conditions, mainly at first into the north of the UK, spells of rain or showers, whilst drier weather just holds on there in the south and the southwest. But by later next week, the jet stream becomes flatter still, and these more active areas of low pressure get closer to the northwest of the UK. And that allows westerlies or southwesterlies to push in across the country, sometimes quite strong winds, especially in the north and the west, and spells of rain or showers alternating, coming in from the west and uh, bringing a plentiful rainfall across the country through next week. 
But with westerlies or southwesterlies replacing northerlies, of course, temperatures will also recover. And that's shown quite clearly on this graph here. This is the temperature trend for somewhere in the middle of the UK. The date of the forecast is on the bottom there. Next couple of weeks, the average line is shown in red here. And the boxes show the most likely temperature each day. The size of the boxes get bigger as you look out towards next week as the uncertainty increases. But it's quite clear that over the next few days, temperatures are well below average. Five degrees below average for this part of the country. And then only slowly later in the weekend and into the start of next week do those temperatures recover towards average before eventually later next week above the line, above average. So it's warming up but it's also wetting up. This shows the precipitation trend. So rain, snow, hail, those are types of precipitation. And the amount of precipitation goes up there on the y-axis. And then the date of the forecast again on the bottom. This will spikes over the next few days because these are showers that are coming through, but uh, the amount of precipitation not particularly high. Then through next week, much bigger spikes indicating that there's the likelihood of spells of rain or showers. Each one of these dotted lines, by the way, represents a different computer model run. So different model runs have different spikes in different places. But it's quite clear that uh, despite there's some uncertainty about timings of rainfall through next week from these different model runs, the trend is clear. It's turning wetter and there could be some significant rain in places, especially towards the west and the northwest. So next week, a cold start, slowly warming up through the start of next week, but increasingly we'll see spells of rain or showers arriving from the west or the southwest. Of course, we'll keep you updated through the next 10 days and beyond on our social media channels. But for now, that's all from me. Bye-bye.